What is up guys, in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to build an AI agent inside of N8N with completely no code that's connected to Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, you name it. You're gonna see in this video exactly how you can build this AI agent that's gonna help you find trending viral content already on other platforms and help you repurpose it and even automate your content creation process. If you guys don't know me, my name is Preston Rhodes and I've been helping businesses become completely automated, leveraging AI and automation tools for around the past two years. I get hundreds of people in my DMs ask me to do copywriting for me and I even see hundreds of people still doing copywriting but they don't know that they're about to be replaced with an exact system like this. Everything a copywriter does from giving you content ideas, writing out your scripts, writing out your newsletters, they're all using AI now. So instead, let's build an AI agent that does exactly that. Let's train it on our best email campaigns, best newsletters, best video ideas, and let's start to use this every single day instead of that copywriter. And if you are a copywriter, I would advise you to watch this video as well so you can learn how to set up and sell these systems to businesses to replace copywriters. So in order to set this up, the most important thing to know is the process of an AI agent. So an AI agent always is going to require some type of human input then it's going to have its knowledge base that it makes decisions in and then it's going to output something back to the user or in one of our apps i've chosen telegram for this workflow i have a telegram bot that now i can message it's going to identify whether it was text or voice memo that was sent and then from there based on if it was a voice memo it's going to get the voice memo so that it can transcribe it with open ai but if not if it's just text it's going to go straight to the ai to start making decisions decisions on what tools to use. With connecting X, Reddit, YouTube, all the other apps, we don't actually have to specify the process in which they're gonna use the apps. Instead, the AI agent, based off of our input, is going to know exactly which tools to use. So we just have to set up the tools with the AI agent. Don't forget, inside of the AI agent itself, you can actually put your entire prompt and custom instructions for who you are, how you want the AI to respond. All of this is gonna be done in the AI agent prompt. So that is part one of this process. Part two is just as important and it's actually the knowledge base in the AI model that we choose. So we're choosing Claude because Claude performs the best at writing and then we are using for our memory which is gonna allow the AI agent to remember previous conversations in our Telegram chat. We're just using the traditional window buffer memory that we don't really have to touch because it's hosted on N8N's platform. And then from there, we have the tools. We're gonna connect X to search tweets, YouTube to get videos, Reddit to get posts, Wikipedia to find facts, Hacker News to get trending hacker articles. That is for the tech space specifically. And so those are all of the steps in finding trending viral content. So if I ask it to search on X, YouTube, Reddit, Wikipedia, Hacker News, without specifying the order it's gonna do it in, in my message, it will prompt the AI agent to go ahead and do so and then return that output back to me. The next apps that I have connected to it are for storing the written content and even posting it for you, right? So let's say we tell it to search up on Twitter, it goes and search up on Twitter and then on YouTube, then it uses Claude to find what it has gathered and then it'll send it back to me and give me the five trending posts. And then I can tell it to store this into a Google document, put it into a sauna and even create a tweet around this that I can post on X. And because I have Google Documents, create document, connected, Airtable, create record, link LinkedIn to create posts and then even X to create tweets. If I just say to the AI agent in my message or in my voice memo to search on Twitter, search on YouTube, give me content ideas, write a content script from it, put it into a Google Doc, put it into my Asana, create a short form X post that you can then put on Twitter. Guys, it is gonna be able to do all of this for us and even make the decision on which app to use as long as we have it connected to our AI agents. Finally, the last thing that we have is the output. It just sends us a message back into Telegram. So if it confirms that it's posted on X or it's gone and searched up on YouTube or it's gone into our Google document, it will then let us know inside of that Telegram message and it'll even give us a link to it inside a Telegram message. Instead of having a copywriter that I hit up and say, hey, I need 10 content ideas and five video scripts for YouTube based off of the new trending AI updates, like that's gonna rely so heavily on a human compared to if you just set up this workflow in NAN, completely no code, you can ask for anything. This is gonna be your research assistant, your copywriting assistant. It's using Claude, which a lot of copywriters are already using Claude. I think the number one use case is using this to replace copywriting 
copywriters. But if you guys do want access to that, I'm gonna leave a link down below to where you can join my school community where I have access to all of my automation templates, all of my AI agents, all of our prompts, assets, process maps, everything that you need to start automating your business or other businesses. But in the meantime, I want you guys to comment down below. What do you think? How could you add an additional tool in here or an additional step to make this even more powerful?